Hey YouTube, this is an episode of Friday Fun. I wanted to do a video. I've been thinking about this this this, this week. So these uh, Friday Fun videos, they've kind of become an extension of, of Hobby Talk Tuesdays sometimes. And um, so I want to talk about sorcery and uh, this beta set. Now, um, there's no, no question the alpha set is amazing. Um, and I really love the beta set too. But, you know... The, my question is, is when does a beta set stop being a beta set and just become like an unlimited set? So, I, I'm going to need somebody that was familiar with like the origins of Magic the Gathering for this. Because this, because Sorcery is definitely kind of uh, trying to, uh, in a way, trying to recapture that excitement of of back when Magic the Gathering first started. Um, now the Alpha set, the, like I said, there's no question that was an Alpha run. It was the Kickstarter. There's cards in it that aren't in the other ones. Arts that are not in Beta. Um, incredible set. It's it's legendary. And then they announced they were going to do you know the the Beta version. So the Beta. You know, it's kind of like explained to me whenever I ordered beta sets was that it was going to be pretty much um, they announced when they were going to, going to uh, release the beta and they were going to take orders for beta and then print it. And to me, that's fine. That was the beta run, right? And, you know, I think. They got quite a few orders. Who knows how many boxes of, of beta? There was like 29,000 um, alpha boxes. I'm, I bet you there's probably less of the beta, but maybe not a ton less of that initial beta run. Um, eventually, the those sold out uh, on the market, and the box prices started to go up, And which was very exciting for me because I, you know... I'm not gonna lie I bought some of these you know speculatively um, because I think the game is awesome and the art is awesome and I missed out of being a part of the Kickstarter I do have one alpha box but you know one alpha box and one alpha uh, starter deck box so I was excited hey I'll get in on the beta because this is like the second run. Now, when Magic the Gathering first started, did they do multiple beta runs? Or did they do a beta run, and then that was it, and then they did like like an unlimited version? Because now, Sorcery keeps making more print runs of the beta run, of the beta, of, um, they call them beta. And there's nothing different about them, you know, uh, on the cards signifying that it's like an unlimited or anything like that. They just keep making more beta runs. And it's kind of annoying because I was kind of led to believe that when the beta set was announced and they took their orders, that was it. You know, I want the game to succeed, don't get me wrong. But when does a beta run, a beta set version, stop being beta and become unlimited? Um, that was my question and it feels like this was not really a beta set it was an unlimited set from the beginning and I think it was kind of mislabeled as a beta set so guys in the comments am I wrong thinking a beta set should have been just that second print run that they took orders for and did the run and then anything after that should have been like considered like an unlimited version because I'm I'm not gonna lie the prices of these boxes they've been going down but it's simply because you know they keep reprinting the beta set which is a great set art the cards art of the cards is fantastic and actually the recent um, print runs of the beta set are better I think card quality wise than the original beta run but man I wish they wish they just would have called it unlimited and um, 
instead of making it seem like, oh, we're doing a beta run and then that's it, we're moving on. You know, I get the reasons why they are reprinting it because you want to grow the game. It's that delicate balance we talked about, um, you know, recently. And, um, you know, but when, when can you keep calling, when do you start calling it an unlimited run instead of a beta run? That was my question. And, um, I'm very excited for Arthurian Legends. Now, I don't know if they're doing first editions, whatever, or just a set. And, and, you know, if they print it and print it and print it, that's like a Pokemon set. They don't have first edition Pokemon anymore. It's just they print it, and if the demand is there, they'll reprint some more. And it's just, that's the set. Um, are, is that going to be the direction going forward with Sorcery, where they come out with the new set? You know, they're once per year set. You know, do an initial print run. Don't call it first edition. Don't call it unlimited. Don't call it just, that's the next set. And then as they need it, they'll reprint some more. I think that's probably what they did with the beta set. They just shouldn't have called it a beta set. Um, should have just been, you know, the Sorcery Unlimited set. Unless they really did not intend to do another print run and then just decide later without having to change symbols on the cards and all that because they have, like, the beta symbol on the cards. I don't know. It's a complex thing. And I don't run a card company, so I don't know the rules of all these sorts of things. But it just seemed like this was going to be a beta print run, and then they were going to move on to the next thing. Which, if it needed more, maybe do a an un, unlimited run. So, I think it, the fact they keep reprinting it, it's good for the players. But it's kind of bad for people like me that got in on the beta. And, um... You know, it just waters down things and kind of has me less bullish on sorcery because they're doing things um, differently than what I thought they were going to do. But don't get me wrong, I still love it. I still think it's the coolest uh, TCG that's come out for a while. Um, definitely the only one that I would ever think about playing. I mean, I'm not interested in playing Pokemon. Um, it's just not a fun game. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not appealed to some of the other games, but I do, this game does appeal to me. All right. So guys, what do you think? When does a beta run cease being a beta run just become unlimited? What do you guys think? I'd love to hear what your opinions or am I just being dumb? <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later. Santa cannot lie You are the brothers I can't deny